just... There you go, quarter past eight. Time now for a tale about a primary school teacher who considers himself the luckiest head teacher alive. Yeah, there's a very good reason. It's Nick Sheeran we're talking about. Suffered a heart attack at school seven months ago, but his colleagues were able to bring out a life-saving defibrillator in less than a minute. And this is because Nick's school in Birkdale, Merseyside, had previously received a visit from Mark King. Now, Mark King has spent the last 11 years getting heart defibrillators installed in schools and sports centres in memory of his son, Oliver. John Maguire can explain all. Good morning, everybody. There's a special assembly at Birkdale Primary School this morning, but what the children don't know is just how special. My Ollie was a keen and a talented sportsman and he had an uncompromising zest for life. They're listening to Mark King. He travels the length and breadth of the UK to tell schools about his son Oliver, who died of a sudden cardiac arrest when he was just 12 years old. Very emotional seeing the kids all, many of the assembly with all the kids. I just see God Ollie's face in, in there, you know, and it's... I don't want you guys... Mark's been here before, ten years ago. The school was impressed, and since then has raised money to buy four defibrillators that in an emergency could shock the heart and save a life. The head teacher decided the machines could help to protect his pupils. But on the last day of term last summer, it was the head himself who collapsed. He survived, but has been off work ever since, until today. See all of you. It's been a long time. I was very overwhelmed by seeing them for the for the first time, and you start homing in on familiar faces I've not seen for for several several months. Start feeling for the children, and you know, then it, it all kicks in the reality of it all. That um, how lucky I am to be here, and the, the reasons for me being here. The Oliver King Foundation provides not just the machines, but also training for staff. When Mr. Sheeran suffered his cardiac arrest, colleagues started first aid and were using one of the defibrillators in just 32 seconds. I think if you'd have asked me several years ago, do you think you'd ever be able to do chest compressions on someone and use a defib, I'd have probably gone, no, no, I'm not, I'm not one of those people that could step up and do that. But actually something happens. I don't know what it is, but something just happens. There was a, a sense of positiveness yeah. about the whole situation. There was no negative, there was no what's going to happen, it was all very positive. You know, this is what we do, these are the roles we've got, we'll carry this out and the outcome will be positive. And then it's only afterwards that you realise the gravity of the whole situation. Emotional seeing them for the first time and because um, we, we have supported one another um, throughout. And then he come in and he's back to his usual self <laughs> of, yay, here I am. And it, it was nice to see the children's reaction, wasn't it? It was. They've missed him. Nick is number 68. That's the number of people who've been successfully treated with the Foundation's defibrillators. I'm the luckiest head teacher um, on the planet, really, um, and so grateful to everyone and the part that they played in, in saving my life and allowing me to be back in school today for the, for the first time in months and months. I'm all, all raring to go, uh, much more chilled than I used to be. Um, I'm certainly not going to worry as much about things. Really, really ecstatic that our defib that was there, that we trained his staff on, was used to save his life. The kids love him, obviously. We've seen him in the hall, all welcoming him back. He's been well missed because he's massive personality in this school and everywhere he goes, probably. He's just like, like our Ollie. Our Ollie was like a ripple. Whenever he went, the people just warmed to him. Nick has got the same personality. 100% I love him a bit. It's the The return of the head teacher also means the return of the staff band, ABCD. And they're saluting this week's Star of the Week, Mark King. 
His foundation has placed more than 6,000 defibrillators in schools. And following his campaign, the government's pledged to put machines into all schools in England by the summer. It's hoped they won't be needed, but if that need arises, they'll be there, ready for deployment, ready to save precious lives. John Maguire, BBC News, Birkdale, near Southport. There is so much to love about that story, isn't there? And, yes. you know, we, we follow that campaign closely and you always think, when will be the time when, it, you know, it's 